Now they meet again for the third place. Ready to go here. Match number five. For the fifth place match. Essentially match number one, but they have the match numbers up there telling us what each match, what they're fighting for. And a slide by at Hampton, a two-point takedown quick for Jaden Ironman here on Anthony Ashnall at the Brookers. Right off the whistle. Looks like Bryce Meredith nearly had a pin there on Kevin Jack. And there's Scrambling. Ironman. Try to run Ashnall. Except that ankle brings Ashnall back down to his knees. 2.30 left here in the first. So tough in the top position. And he's dangerous because Jade Diamond will find a cradle from any position. It doesn't matter where he is. So you wait till left in the first. Stalling calls on Ashnall. Ashnall can call for Stalling. The Rutgers coaches wants to know why. And our side official is explaining to Donnie Pritzloff, the legs are coming in, and Ashton is continuing to come up, so he's stopping action from happening. So I guess you either give up near fall or a stall call. One point escape for Ashton. Ashton with a stall call against him. Will now go to work here on his feet. 210 left here in the first. Ashnall, back and forth here, pushing at the head, 153 left here in the first. And pay attention to the right hand of Anthony Ashnall, that's going to be his post hand, he's going to keep Jaden Ironman away with that right hand. 2 on 1 tie there from Ashnall, minute 35 left, shot there by Ironman, he already has one takedown. Happened in early in the first period. We're still in the first period, halfway through it. National already has a stall call against him and a one point escape. National, very good on his feet. Already getting taken down once, trying to get his offense going here. Pushing at the head. Ironman, lower stance, gets in a lower level than National. Minute left here in the first. Two on one there from Ashnault. Trying for a trip. Here's a trip off the right side, right bounce. Continuous action, good call. As Jaden Ironman was circling away from that Russian tie, caution going to be coming for Anthony Ashnault on the false start. Jaden Ironman, good to get out of bounds and not give up the stall call, so continue to circle. Made the referee feel like a continuous action. Ashnall looking for the underhook. Looking for the pancake on the right side. We're out of bounds. We're out of bounds. Ironman had that wizard hand on the far side. You know, Ashnall tried to keep his foot in bounds. He drift out of bounds. 35 seconds left here in the first. Shot attempt by Ashnall. Nothing works. 25 seconds left. National. It's 15 seconds of work here in the rest of the first period. Not a lot of points on the board here. Two to one is the score, but a great first period. A lot of action seeing shots, shot attempts from both guys. We'll go to the second period. We'll see who has their choice. We'll be a factor in this match and see who gets their chance to go down first. National will. After Ironman defers his choice to Ashnall. We saw Ashnall pick up the escape in the first period. And it's always great to watch Ashnall in the bottom position because immediately up to his feet. A lot of young wrestlers don't do that. And you can learn a lot from watching Anthony Ashnall right off the whistle, the initial move. He doesn't brace, he doesn't try and build a base first. He immediately comes up to his feet and starts to look for his escape. He doesn't waste time in the bottom position, and that's great to see in college wrestling. Minute 52 left here in the second. False start called on Ironman. So that's one apiece. 
it sure it, and it folks and if you don't think cautions are a factor in a wrestle match just ask frank Ma frank matty ice against cash wilkie on day two where matty ice and wilkie were in double overtime matty ice had two cautions against him believe it or not to start the second sudden victory matty ice false starts angel Rivera, the referee called caution asked for their leg bands and that was your match that was the craziest ending i've ever seen to a match matty ice gets called for his third caution his coaches were even saying composure composure keep composure and he jolted in Mo the neutral position in the neutral position were you on the call for that i one? was step forward and i couldn't believe it next thing you know i was thinking he's going to give him a break no he didn't R rivera set caution that's a point iowa iowa faithful went crazy and cash wilkie had had the win I was over there on mat number seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was mat seven, yep. I believe it was an elimination. It was. One, two. Matty Ice ended his, ended his career on, this, on a caution. I'll never put that one down. No, not at all. Minute six left here in the second. Minute 29 riding time for the Mizzou Tiger, Jaden Ironman. Taking a look real quick over to mat number three. Bryce Meredith leads Kevin Jack by a score of four to two. Riding time currently not a factor, sitting at 45 seconds as we get back to action here in period number two for the fifth place match. Ashnall keeping his elbows in. Ironman putting the leg in, trying to use those hands, trying to go for a power, power half. And now Ashnall working from the bottom. Ashnall was in some pain. That ankle got stuck and it looked like it. It's definitely a lower body injury to the left leg. That leg got stuck and he looked over to Coach Donnie Pritzloff in some pain. 28 seconds left. Just two and a half minutes to go in this match. You got a half a period left and then the full third. So Ashnall wants it. Got to get a takedown. He has a point now against him with riding time with two and a half minutes of riding time for Ironman. It's decision time here in the third. What's going to happen? Because Ironman has his choice in the third. So, so Eric, if you are Anthony here, Ironman picks down. You got riding time against you. Do you want to ride him to get riding time under a minute? Or do you want to cut him and just try to get a takedown? I, I cut him. I don't think there's... He have to get the 1 minute and 36 seconds of riding time down, and it's going to be tough to do. Minute 52 left in the match. Ashnault's going to try to ride Ironman. But if you are Jaden Ironman, you can, you're comfortable down here in the bottom position. Is the, the thing you have to work against now is just the clock. We're out of bounds. Two minutes and 11 seconds of riding time. This is going to have to be a... There is going to be 20, 25 seconds left on the clock. But riding time's under a minute. So... It's going to be interesting to see if Ashnall just wants to get riding time down to a certain point, then cut him, then get a takedown, and then continue to work riding time down. He's going to cut him. He's got to get a takedown now. Minute 15 left here in the third. Wizard there from Ireland. There's a shot. By Ironman. I didn't see exactly how Jack won that match, but it was a I'm not sure if it was a defensive fall or it was a controlled fall. 50 seconds left here in the third. Ashnaught looking for the pancake. Nothing worked out of bounds. Forty-six seconds. Left in the match. Riding time will be. Waiting for Ironman. He has a 4-1 lead. Ashnell needs two takedowns. Riding time currently sitting at 2.02 with 40 seconds left. 
So if you're astronaut, at what point do you start looking for a big move here? 30 seconds to go. Ironman has not been hit with stalling. He will get hit with stalling eventually. That's just how the third period goes. If it's under 30 seconds and you are you have a lead, if you take any step backwards, you're going to get hit with stalling. 18 seconds left. National needs to get something in the next 14 seconds. Another caution. Both of them jumped, but the first one... First one jump was Ashnall. Ashnall needs a big throw here in the next six seconds. Stalling called on Ironman. As, as Eric said, yeah, it happens. <laughs> You're gonna get called for stalling. It's almost automatic. Under 30 seconds, if you have a lead, you might as well, might as well just give him a stall call off the top. Five seconds left, out of bounds. They're gonna call stalling again on Ironman. That's a point, two, three. Ashnall can get a takedown here in three seconds. One overtime, no. Jay Nyerman, fifth place winner at 141 pounds. Defeats Anthony Ashnall of Rutgers. Congratulations, Jay Nyerman.